That's something everyone's familiar with. Drops of water on a hot metal plate go hiss, hiss, and boil away to nothing. And, in fact, that's a very interesting process, and an important one, too, because if you're making a metal bowl, like this copper one, you beat it, and it gets harder as you work it. And so what you have to do to soften it is to put the heat into it until it goes red hot, cool it down, often by adding water, and when it's cool again, it's soft. It's a process known as annealing, and it's very important when you're working with metals like copper or silver, or in fact, steel. But here's a paradox. Let's add some more heat and see what happens to the water. You'd think that as it gets hotter, in fact, the hissing would be more violent. In fact, something different happens. The water breaks up into droplets, and they dance around. They don't boil off nearly as fast. They're active, but they stay active as little droplets. And in fact, if we add lots more heat into that, they don't even do that. They start to become quieter, until when the plate is really hot, they just stay as little clear droplets of water, sitting there like jewels and hardly moving at all. Well, surely that's impossible. <laughs> Well, it ought to be impossible. How can water sit there on a really hot plate? You see the plate's actually changing colour with the heat and scarcely move, and certainly not hiss. Let's take the heat away while we explain it. What's happening is that the plate is so hot that the water closest to it is forming steam. And steam, of course, isn't a liquid, it's a gas. And so that drop is riding around on its own little blanket of steam. It's not touching the metal at all. And it's only when it touches the metal that it can go hiss in that way we saw. In fact, if I blow it, you can see it's rather like a hovercraft. It's balancing on its own little blanket of air or steam, and it can be easily moved by the slightest breath, like that. It rolls around like quicksilver. Until either the metal plate gets cool enough to let it come down so the water touches the metal, because the blanket's thin, or else we make the drop heavy enough for it to squash that blanket, and then the water will come down and touch the metal too. In which case, it goes on hissing the way we saw in the first place.